Now this equation here represents um, one of the more challenging things that you have to be able to differentiate. So in this function you have x cubed minus square root of x plus 2 all over x to the 4. And this is going to bring about both fractional and negative indices in order for us to differentiate. So we've first got to write this as a sum of powers of x. We can't do anything with it before we do that. So, first of all, that's x to the half. So let's rewrite this as x cubed, take away x to the half, plus 2, all over x to the 4. Now... We're going to split this up. This stage you don't really need to write, but I'm just doing it just to highlight what we're going to do next. So I'm splitting the fraction up. So I've got x cubed over x to the 4, take away x to the half over x to the 4, plus 2 over x to the 4, so that I can then rewrite each of these. Now x, to the, x cubed divided by x to the 4 is x to the minus 1. Okay, because so, 3 take away 4 is the 1, minus 1, sorry. Then we have 1 half take away 4. Well, 4 is 8 halves, so this is x to the minus 7 halves. Okay, 1 half take away 8 halves is minus 7 halves. And then I have 2x to the minus 4. This is two lots of 1 over x to the 4. Now I can differentiate it because now I have it as a sum of powers of x. And remember, with function notation, the first derivative is represented with f prime. So now the power can come down to the front, so we have minus x, take one off the power, then the power comes down the front, so I've got minus 7 halves times minus 1 is plus 7 halves, x, and then I need to take 1 from minus 7 halves, which is minus 9 halves. And then the minus 4 comes down the front, multiplies with the positive 2, so that's minus 8, and then take 1 off the power. And so now I have it in my differentiated form. So it is a lot more involved than differentiation was normally, because you must get it from this stage to this stage before you differentiate. That's very important.